Hi everyone, I am Praveen Sagar from KP Spoken English. Today, I am going to discuss with you all on a serious topic. The topic is Dory system. Before getting into the video, I would like to ask you two questions. First is that who do you think the most responsible person for Dory system? Second question is this, that who made this uh, custom that Dory will be given from the side of girls only. If you ask me that who is the most responsible for Dory system, this is my personal view. I think that the parents of girls are most responsible person for Dory system. How? I think you sounds very strange this. But let me clear. In what happens, I have seen in the some family whenever a girl child takes a birth in the family and whenever she starts growing up some parents get worried about the marriage of their child and they start saving money they start doing extra hard work for saving money for the marriage of their own daughter and the parents of girl start saving money and they save 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 2 lakhs and 3 lakhs according to their uh, savings and jobs. One more question I want to ask you all that why you are saving money to give that boy and the family of the boys? Why don't you invest this money on the development and on the good education of your own daughter? Why you always get worried to saving money? Why don't you be worried about the future of your daughter? What type of thinking you have? You are saving money, you are doing hard work, getting? You saving money and you will give that money to that boy? who has not done anything for your daughter and for you. Why don't you invest that money and why don't you make your daughter an IAS officer by this money? Why don't you make your daughter an advocate? Why don't you to think to make uh, your daughter a sports woman, a sports uh, girl? By the way, what happens that a girl is educated? Got it? And why the reason she hasn't got a government job and you have saved money? Being a smart and responsible person, you are supposed to start a small business for your own daughter so that she could stand on her own feet and she will be self-dependent. But no, we don't do this because I am to, I'm to give money Without money, without giving money, I cannot get a good relation. Girls' uh, parents are having this thinking. Unless I will not give a lot of dowry, my daughter will not be happy in that family. Okay, one question I want to ask you all that what do you mean by good family? Rich family is good family always. And what do you think? When you give a lot of money, a lot of dowry, to the boy's family, your daughter will be will be uh, got respect from that uh, that uh, family. My dear, this is my experience that the girl and the woman who is not doing job in the society, she doesn't get respect. Mostly, I'm uh, I'm talking about a working girl, a working woman always gets respect in the family or in the lowest family in comparison to a housemaker, sorry, a housewife. You know better. So in my opinion, not opinion, this is the truth. Instead of giving money, make your daughter able. Make your daughter to stand on her own feet so that she can live her life competently. Is that clear? And this is my message for all the girls who are getting education in the schools or in the colleges or, or they are doing any courses. Please promise yourself that after completing your education or schooling or your colleges or any courses, please do job. 
stand on your own feet getting if you do not get a government job please start your own uh, small business or ask your father try to make your own father uh, try to make your father understand that father please don't save money for my marriage getting the money which you have saved invest this money to uh, start a business for me and uh, one question i want to ask you all just think that uh, the money which you have saved for giving and that money you have invested on the development on the good education on your uh, daughter and after that your daughter has become an ias officer does anyone dare to ask for dowry from you answer if your daughter is an advocate does anyone dare to ask dowry from you you have made your daughter a good doctor and now you are going to see a relation for your daughter marriage does a boy or does the uh, family members of boy dare to even discuss about the dowry no not at all they they don't dare but what happens when or where the dowry is given example i have one daughter she is educated but she is not doing anything she is not doing job she is not doing a business but now i am going to uh, get her married in a family in that case my dear we have to pay something because boy is boy is a doctor boy is an ias officer boy is a teacher but our daughter is nothing in that case we have to pay so what do you think this is the good relation don't don't you want to see your daughter to do job in the future getting and one more thing please this is not the custom this is the evil custom in our society and this is the burden and compulsion on the head of the all the parents of girls you know whenever you go to see a relation for your daughter marriage don't give them options do you want something do you have any desire please tell us how much do you want from us we will give we will arrange what happened why do you give this option does ever the parents of boy ask this question to the parents of girl that how much do you want and this is not happiness getting or not this is the compulsion this is the burden and we think this is a custom this is a tradition what kind of tradition you know i have seen and you must have seen also that this is the reason and because of the this types of the uh, evil customs the parents of the girl always get disturbed get worried whole life and in the some family what happens the father gets lot of loan from the bank for getting their daughter married and for giving dowry because of society getting and the whole life he gives back the installment of the bank which he ha- which he has taken from the bank now this is the burden some parents sell their land share their uh, sell their houses now think what we are doing please this is the message for my side for all the parents of girls and all the girls please make your daughter evil getting and you all are all the girls please make promise yourself do promise yourself that i will do job getting i will not be in the favor of giving dowry because you are a young one and young people can make any type of changes in the society my dear giving dowry is clear illogical you are giving the peace of your heart now you don't need to give any extra luggage so what do the boys doesn't have if a boy is asking bike my god you don't have a bike this, this is a very shame the boy should shame on himself 
that you are demanding man, demanding a bike don't you dare you should do work getting and earn money and take bike from that fine then so please i think you must have understand uh, understood many things and these were my personal views if you have got any suggestion for me you can drop comments in the comment box thanks for watching